Welcome back to Ways Now. Fad swept the youth off the prowl at the speed of light. Entire subcultures could rise overnight, thrive for a dozen weeks, and then vanish utterly. That's from William Gibson Neuromancer. In 2019, Naira Mali was one of the most searched artists in Nigeria on a daily basis, and his fan base is growing daily. But what, it, um, what is it about him that gets people writing and parents worried? We're being joined by Bukola Lamid, fondly called Bukis. She is a professional counselor, um, certified cognitive behavioral change therapist, and one of Africa's leading family mental health coach who provides relatable solutions to preserve the mental and emotional wellness of every member of the family. Remember, you can join the conversations. Tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Waysho Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send an SMS to 081 803 Thanks for joining us, Mukola. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. Okay, now it's Naya Mali all the way today. <laughs> and um, um, we're happy to have you here because you're supposed to be a parenting expert. So we want to find out from your perspective, you know. Are parents in the right to panic over this Naramali trend? Okay, thank you. Thank you all for having me. Thank you. Oh, okay, when this Naramali saga started, a lot of people started tagging me on social media. What's your take, your parenting coach, and all that? And I sat and I think about it, and the first line I'm going to drop this evening is life doesn't abuse a vacuum. So, what that simply means is that life loves space. So life always creates space for people. And if you, you as a parent don't have a relationship with your child, if you're not able to fill in that space that life has opened up for that child, the child will look for someone or somewhere or something to help fill the space. So I tell them, I said, in our own, when we were growing up, not very old, but you know, when we were growing up, we heard of Fela, mm. we heard of all those people, and you know, these things are not new. Fela was, you know what I mean, and it was, yeah, and you know, and people who wanted to follow him, actually follow him. But because of the rate of epidemic, I'll call it epidemic, mm. culture epidemic that we have, our culture is, by every second deteriorating. People are confused. They don't even know if to follow African culture, or the Western culture, or the they're trying to marry the two cultures together. So everybody is confused. And I noticed again that parents are fast losing it. They are not becoming their children's role models. They are looking for people to make them their own role models rather than them, you know, being in that space. To become, so you hear people say, I want you to mentor my child, when in fact you are supposed to be the first teacher. I hear people say, oh, I paid school fees, you're supposed to teach my children. And I tell parents, I say, in life, you know, a teacher has the one responsibility, he's academic. But as a parent, you have the responsibility to, be, to mentor your child spiritually, morally, and emotionally. Hmm. You know that teacher part, I think I would like to argue with you on that. Okay. You will defer, rather. Okay. Because um, I don't think it's just strictly limited to academics alone for teachers. Okay. But we'll not go there. Let Uti come first. I'll come back later. <laughs> because it's okay. So yeah. what I'm trying to say is you as a parent need to lay a foundation mm. on which teachers has to, you know, on. build Absolutely. on. Yeah. So you are not, that's why I said life doesn't abhor a vacuum. Definitely. Something needs to be done before something can build on it. Yeah. So you can't expect somebody else to mentor your child. child. Your so Naira Mali is just a reflection of how our culture is, you know, is, is, a, is a reflection of our ignorance and the level of desperation of the youth, how this youth, you know, eagerly wants to be, they are attention seeking, they want to be seen, they want to be identified with something. So if you don't give them those things to be identified it from home, they go out and if okay, yeah, so, yeah. so, so I mean, you've hit the nail on the head because I think what is missing is that concept of taking a village to raise a child. Mm. So now there's so many influences. Children today have so much to deal with. But you rightly said something, parents today, is our parenting intentional or do we just have kids because culture says you should get married and you should have kids? How is this phenomenon, this kind of trend, how is it impacting parenting? 
Yeah, it's impacting parenting because parents are not in the forefront of what they're supposed to do anymore. So it's like, like I said from, from the beginning, we are confused. Most parents are confused. They don't know the path to which they want to follow. So parents, some parents will say inside life, but they don't like Naramali. So we are so hypocritical in our nature. We are trying to be good, but somehow our disposition is showing that we are not really good. Mm. So, you know, and children are emotional beings. They see all these things. Children do more of what we do, not what we say. Definitely. So they see all these double standards, and they rather want to follow somebody who they feel is genuine than their parents. Because, he has, because this he, one is he coming. Has come, he, has he has come, come and said that he is, yeah. this is who I well, am. You know, I yes, brought, have a question. Brought, because let's not leave the, fact, um, the factor of the human will. Because sometimes you will see a parent who is like very determined and you know takes note of everything going on in their child's life. And then the child just wakes up and says, you know what? I want something different. I want somebody else to inspire me. I'm tired of this life. It doesn't make me happy, this and this and that. And the parents are really putting in their best. So what about the, that case? OK, so when you say best, it's, it's very subjective. Let me drop a line again. Parents of these days, they are raising the child they wish they have, not the one they have. So there is a very big difference. Oh my goodness. So you're, not, you're saying there is no room for the human will to just, you know, be rebellious and Please, say, I, I want more. repeat that again. Parents of this day, they are building or raising the children they wish they have, not the one they have. Wow. So when you say um, a, a child will get to a level where he or she is tired and she wants another thing, that means that parent... The influence the child has is not really bringing out the real person who that child is. Mm -hmm. So we are more or less projecting our fears on, our on children. the children. So that's why you hear, ah, please pardon me. Hey, they suffer where I suffer. My, My child, child don't make you suffer. suffer. At the end of the day, you are even, the things that you are building in the personality of that child yeah. is no further pushing that child to even suffer. For instance, you have a washing machine at home. And in our days, you use your hands now, my sisters, hands. didn't yes. you? So you cannot, you cannot understand the pain you have never gone through. So that's the issue that we have with parents now. Parents are practically taking our children out of reality. You know, we have everything no, but they are, but working. In, in all honesty, the washing machine excuse, I mean, like, example that you've given yeah. would be their reality. Yes, that's, that's, it would exactly be their reality. reality. So the reality. I don't really need to 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 get them to. to I will teach you how to program the, the washing machine properly and mm -hmm. iron your clothes properly. So now tell me, let's go to this Naramali thing. Where would you think the gap is, in terms of you know, um, why do you think the the cult that he's probably raising, you know, like the girls are here, they say Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, they don't wear panties and <laughs> oh all of that. Goodness. Why do you think this cult is, you know, is expanding? Is it because of the musical influence? Or is it just that this person, you know, I mean, is beyond, maybe beyond surface? Because I, I still cannot understand it. Why it's growing so big, People are shouting, Malians don't graduate. Meanwhile, the guy has a degree. I hear he has a master's degree, in fact. And Pokoli you know, is also a graduate. You know? <laughs> yeah, so why, what, where do you think the problem is, the real problem for the rise in this um, Okay, so looking, at my, we looking at my experience as a parenting coach and mental health expert, I realized that children, and when I mean children, teenagers and young adults have what they lack self-identity. Okay. We have not been able to bring out who they really are. So they latch on who they think they can associate with. So that is why this, in fact, let me tell you, it's not a prophecy, but someone who is who might be more interesting than Naramali is still coming. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And that movement will still be bigger than Naramali. Mm -hmm. So Naramali is just a reflection of the culture. Naramali really is not the problem. Mm -hmm. it, the problem is we are not focusing on what these children actually need. You know, I told you the other time that we focus more on I want the way I want these children or this child to be, mm. not how that child wants to be. So what do There's they this, need? How do they, they, they know need, what they need? They need connection. Okay. As parents, like I said, this projection, a child wants to become something. But because in our own reality, we don't see that thing forthcoming. We don't see it in our own reality that is going to work. So we project our own fears on the children. Mm. So they want freedom. The way, you know, paradigms have changed. The way they raised us is different from the way these children, you know, they were born in, in this technology. I have three of them. Mm. 
you know, and the, the youngest is around 10, 11, and if he handles my phone, and I'm like, am I the owner of this phone? It's because I was not born into technology. Mm -hmm. But we are not trying to, you know, unlearn some things that we, we were taught as children, that, this, that these things cannot be dumped on this children that is coming in now. They, you know, they have, they are so opinionated, hmm. they are so outspoken, yeah, but... they are so real. They, they want freedom. But you know, in our own days, we never had such freedom. They never gave us all this like, opportunity. Silly than they, yeah. 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 They made us to be, they, they tell you, keep mm. quiet, and you have to keep quiet. Yeah. But you know, I tell parents that you are the one that actually paid for this exposure for your child. Yeah. Mm. Now your child is exposed, then you have a problem. Mm. Um, all right, so what is the right um, role model alternative? Like, how do we pick out who is the right role model for your kids? Because whether you like it or not, you as the parents will not be the only role model your child has. Definitely. So what's the alternative? So you need to first be a role model for your child. That is mm -hmm. what most parents have lost. So they're actually oh. looking for spiritual role models. Mm. They're looking for all these people outside because, you know, family is the bedrock of the nation. Anything that we get from the family, it will be expressed in the community, mm -hmm. to be expressed in society, and that's what we're seeing now. Yeah. So, like I asked my first first son, he's going on 16, I said, do you know Naramali? You'll be shocked, he doesn't know him. Wow. I'm not joking. Because the people that know Naramali are, are way younger. No, he's 15, 16. No, 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 I'm saying that the trends are, he's 16. He's 16, yeah. But he's not in secondary school. He's in secondary school, he's oh. in SS3. Uh, he's, he's what about he's even, even at that, yeah. people within 20, my age bracket, 20 to the, they, they still know Naramali. I don't know Naramali. <laughs> yeah, as in Naramali so is a uh, household name. It's, it's like water. What am I saying is that, you know, to an extent, he has not been exposed mm -hmm. to that thing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. in fact, he even knows the song, but he cannot really attach it to Nairamali. Mm -hmm. So there was a time when I played, I said, that's Nairamali's song. He said, oh, so that's the Nairamali song. <laughs> what am I trying to say is, it is what you have embedded in your child from home that it shows outside. Okay. If mm -hmm. you have built a child's self-confidence at home, there is mm -hmm. no amount of um, external peer pressure that would come, that would come and take away. So if you were things. to list oh. a parent with one word, what would it be? Connection. Connection. Parents, connect with your children. Connect. You cannot raise a good child with the mind of an adult. Oh, hmm. thank you so much for that. I think we'll leave it there. We'll go on a break. When we come back, Taiwa Kilami joins us. Please stay with us.